and welcome back, Spirit Family, to those who are new. This is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I'm your Gypsy, Vera Lynn, and today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Virgos for July 2019. Now, when I say general reading, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for July. I hope you guys like my setup here. I am off grid on top of the mountain, no cell phone service, no electricity, no plumbing. Right now I kicked my shoes off. I am earthing and I highly suggest that you guys get out there and do it. I'm a Virgo, us earth signs, we need to connect with nature to kind of regulate ourselves, okay? All right, so today I'm going to be going over what's going on with the signs. We have a lot going on, all right? We have eclipses, two eclipses for July and a retrograde, okay? So I'll be lightly diving into that. If you guys have any questions about what I'm going to go over, comment below. I am quick to reply. Okay, so we have a solar eclipse in Cancer July 2nd. So this is going to bring attention to your family life, Virgo, okay? Um, kind of make you reevaluate your priorities when it comes to your family, your friends, okay, your close networking system. On the 16th, we have a lunar eclipse in Capricorn. Now, a lunar eclipse in Capricorn is going to make you really think about your responsibilities in life and kind of weigh things out, which is a good thing, okay? On the 7th, okay, so this is a couple days prior to the lunar eclipse, you have Mercury is going retrograde in Leo, and Mercury, my friends, is your rolling planet, if you did not know, so kind of take this retrograde to relax again, okay, you know, maybe like I was saying, get out there, get in nature, reconnect, ground yourself, go to the beach to the, for a day, go to the lake for a day, whatever it might be, Virgo, okay, even just go to the park, okay, and of course that changes the retrograde mercury does go direct on the 31st and same day there's a new moon in leo okay we also have a few other things going on for the month of july but i'll just briefly go over it because this is mainly a tarot reading <laughs> all right so i'm going to pull a couple cards from the rider weight deck here i also have the fairies and i have the angels deck too we'll be seeing after i pull from that, if I'm going to, which one's going to be calling me? I've, I've Lately, since I've been out here off-grid, the fairies have been calling to me because the fairies is an earth element. However, we are up in the mountains, so the angels kind of represent air when it comes to that, okay? All right, so let's get this started for my Virgos for July 2019. What is going on regarding career, love, your soul story? All right, I hope to see you guys on some of the live streams. If you want to go ahead and hit that notification bell, I do live streams. You can get yourself on days that I have them a free reading as well as I do uh, private sessions. And um, the community on live stream is really fun. Shout out to my Virgos who have been on the live streams. I know June, everybody loves it. It's very educational. You can get yourself a free reading as well as it's just a fun place to be, you know. I love the chat line. I love this channel is international. Just seeing where you guys are from and what's your background, what's your soul story is amazing to me. I love it. Okay. Even comment below if you don't make it for a live stream. I will be having a giveaway that I'll be talking about more towards the end of the video. It's a healer's box. It got all kinds of goodies in it. Sage, incense, salt lamp, your own tarot deck. So you can find at the end how to win that. It's very easy. Okay, guys. All right. Yeah, I only have a few people on that list. I only have like 10 people on the healer's box list and that goes, I'll be pulling that on July 31st for a live stream, so. All right. We are starting off with the Eight of Swords, my Virgos. So something is telling me that maybe you feel out of control. I apologize if you see some smoke in the background from the campfire, but keeping away some of the bugs. But yeah, so there's something in your life that you are just not feeling totally control over. It could be your work life. It could be raising your children. It could be that toxic relationship. Your marriage is just not going the way that you wanted. It could be, unfortunately for some of you, almost all of it. But you know what, Virgo? We need to take a step back and we need to really rest and restore for July because I feel like we were trying to get a lot done, you know, late spring. 
that when it comes to July, we need a little rest time. And us Virgos, we're very into detail. We're very here, we're very there. You know, we're all over the place. We're perfectionists, so we like to get it done. Very right, so with our ruling planet being in Mercury, I do feel the retrogrades are kind of necessary for us to take a step back, relax, calm down, you know, remember to get back onto our meditation cycle, you know, eat right, things like that, that we might not really be thinking of during the hustle and bustle when we're trying to get all those details done. So, I understand. But don't worry, don't fret, Virgo. It might be some, you might have some negative energy for, or you might be having total anxiety because you just can't control it. But, that's not good. It's not good to, to worry, okay? All right. Let's see what else is going on. Some of you could be past that issue of feeling stuck in life and moving on to the new chapter. All right. Love of uh, anxiety, depression, sleepless nights for my Virgos. You have the Nine of Swords. So, with there being already a large presence of swords in your reading, I feel like your communication about how you truly feel is off. <clears throat> Alright, my Virgos. Look, and we're shining some light on these cards now, okay? So, whatever it is, we're going to have to take a couple deep breaths, change your mindset about it, get your balance, your emotions -y balance, balanced, okay? It's very important to do so before you approach a project to make sure that your emotions are in check, okay? Because if it's regarding a relationship, maybe some of you guys are going through court, you know, custody stuff. That's st that stuff is tough, okay? But you need to have the right mindset, don't you? Okay? So take some time. You guys aren't sleeping enough, you know. Some of you guys might be an insomniac, borderline insomniac, just can't sleep at night, maybe an illness. Maybe some of you guys have fallen ill, okay? Whatever it is, we need to take care of ourselves, okay, Virgo? Look at this light, all right? So, I like to interpret a lot of different things, like <clears throat> during these off-grid videos, th there might be, you know, loud birds or animals that make their presence known to me during the video, and I'll just, you know, comment about it, tell you it's your spirit animal. I had a few last year, I already had a couple this year doing these videos, but right now the fact that if you go to the beginning of this video and see the light, the how different the light is from the beginning of the video to right now, this is telling me that you were in a dark place, Virgo, you know, very dark, some of you guys depressed to where you didn't even really see any hope but now the light is here the light is shining okay guiding you some of you might have literally lost a loved one and your life is completely flipped upside down within time within time my friends it'll get better i know i've had quite a few people lash out at me when i say you know, that time heals all wounds or everything happens for a reason because when the pain happens and those dark dark times happen, you don't believe that. And you think that's, that's a major BS. But I always tell people, I understand, I understand the pain, I've been there, I felt the same thing. You know, going against my own words. But if you take some time, look back on it a year, two years from now, you'll be like, oh my gosh, why did I make that decision? Or, oh my gosh, why why did I stress to be with them so bad? You know, it, it, looking back on it now, it was almost childish. You know, I was so focused on one thing that it just, everything else was a blur. And Virgos, let that self, let that go, okay? My control freaks, my OCD freaks, my anxiety, just let it go. Let it go, my friends, okay? The light is here, okay? It has appeared to show you the way, all right? You guys are the first readings this weekend to get the crystal ball, too, okay? Because it is early sun. Unfortunately, you don't have to worry about a fire because those things are a fire hazard. <laughs> but it is telling me that 
I brought it out because I feel like it also represents that a lot of you have to dive into your intuition, your spirituality. Dive into it, my Virgos, okay? You kind of were focused on too many things, maybe other people, whatever. You know, you guys are very caring. You guys are the sixth house of service and humanitarianism. Like, it's, you just got to focus on yourself sometimes. And I feel the retrogrades are meant to be, hey, whoa, calm down, take a break, okay? You deserve to be lazy every once in a while, okay? Especially if you're getting a lot of stuff done. All right, all right, I felt this. This, this is what is causing so much anxiety and so much of feeling stuck, my Virgo. You have the seven of cups, okay? Too many choices, too many options, and it's clouding your brain. You can't even really focus on any which one of them because there are so many, and so many are good. Some of them you can kind of clearly see the cons. The others you're like, wow, it's just like all pros, maybe a few little, uh, you know, ups and downs, but. So when this card pops up, it's a sign that because you have so many choices and you have so many options, Virgo, don't let that steer you from making a decision at all, okay? Whether it comes to your love life, whether it comes to your career, a place to live, um, a genre to study, guys, because there are so many options, don't let that keep you from ever making a decision because you're afraid of making the wrong one, okay? All right, maybe you need to try a few. Well, who knows? Maybe do a little more research, but whatever it is, don't leave you stuck, okay? All right. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. My, my, my. There's something that needs to be addressed. You have the sword's presence, which is telling me your communication is lacking because you're not quite sure emotionally what you want. And that's okay. But, like I said, don't let the fact that you have many choices keep you from making a decision and moving on entirely. Okay? Don't let that slow down the train. Alright. So, I am thinking one from the angels for you guys. Okay? But I did want to talk a little bit more about that healer's box. Okay? It's a nice little basket. I didn't want to bring it off grid because it is quite heavy. I'll put a picture of it at the end of the video, but it has a salt lamp, tarot cards, your own deck. It has the original Rider weight to be exact. It has white sage, other types of sage in it. It's got tapestry and it's spiritual findings with the Gypsy Souls one year anniversary. It was actually in April. And I like, I had a few giveaways the first year and it was a lot of fun. It connected me to subscribers. It was really nice. And I am just amazed at how far this channel have grown over just one year of, you know, being established. So I wanted to take some time to celebrate it and do another giveaway. And July 31st at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be having a live stream where I will be doing, you know, I'll be pulling all these names from my, or one name from a hat to see who wins the free healer's basket. It does apply for my U.S. subscribers only, unfortunately, because it is extremely heavy. I can't really afford it to send it internationally. We're not quite there yet <laughs> with spiritual findings with the gypsy soul. We'll get there, but I am manifesting at least 8,000 subscribers for my birthday, August 31st. So I'd really appreciate if you guys, all you have to do to, um, you know, get a chance to put your name in for this raffle, which guys, I only have like 10 people on my raffle right now, is all you have to do is subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you already have, that's fine. You could still, you could still win it. Share, more importantly, share to any social media, okay, guys? That's going to help me get out there because I'm a dinosaur. All I have is Facebook. You can find that link below. It is a nice community, but I don't have the Instagram. I don't have the Twitter. I don't have all that stuff. So if you guys could help me out on that aspect, I would love it. Even Reddit, what up? It doesn't matter. Sharing is caring, guys. But yes, you can enter to win that free healer's box. It goes to one person. And even if you don't, you know, get the basket, 
before we actually do the pooling on July 31st, I will be doing free readings, okay, up until that time. And, you know, if you can't make it for that day, I do free readings from time to time. So go ahead and hit that notification bell, guys. The live streams, like I said, it is fun. All right. Enough with the rambling. Even I get sick of it. But, you know, it just kind of gets repetitive <laughs> doing it in so many videos. But I know I, I don't want to leave out any of my Virgos because I do have some really awesome subscribers that are Virgos. All right. My Virgo. We have pregnancy. The birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. All right. So, for some of my Virgos that are trying to conceive, maybe this is the season to conceive. For some of you guys that are like, yeah, that card does not apply for me. Doesn't necessarily mean that you might be the one, you know, holding the baby, but as well as, you know, a family member. Sometimes a, a baby can bring a family very close together. It could be a friend. It could be a great grandchild, you know. We all, the innocence of a child really does bring a family closer together or people closer together. And sometimes that is beautiful, okay? All right, maybe this could even just symbolize young kids in general, you know, an adoption or something along those lines. All right, guys, this is a lovely spread to teach you to let it go. My Virgo. Okay, relax for that retrograde and just kind of settle in for July and get your earthing done. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to end it. Thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your gypsy, Vera Lynn. You guys have a beautiful July. <laughs>